Brody's Books. We got gaming. We got opinions, my friend. And uh, we got Brody more today, unfortunately. I'm Marissa Roberto. <laughs> and I'm Brody. And I, now that I've had some time to recover, I'm ready to shut you down. Ooh, well, not so fast, young one. Let's uh, just run down how this little thing is going to work for newcomers. Right here, we have topics. But at any point in time, mm -hmm. one of us can hit this little mute button right here to shut the other one up for 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. And during our top stories, we'll be on the clock to get our opinions out in only two minutes. So mm. let's not waste any more time and get to our first story, Marissa Roberto. Let's get to it. Kicking off our list of stories is Team Solomid. The team announced this week that it had signed its first Magic the Gathering player, okay. Numa the Numpy. It's uh, covered, he's actually covered Magic the Gathering tournaments before and he's, he's even actually won a couple himself. Right. Yeah, so do you think that TSM made a good choice with this guy to, and also to move into Magic? And is there a possibility for Magic to have, you know, this amazing eSport? And go. All right, um, <laughs> so this is weird because it's, it's Magic yeah. and like there is a video game version of Magic, right? But presumably yeah. they just want it all card based there. Is that an eSport? I mean, like we don't want the E to define electronic or anything, but what really makes an eSport? Can a card game be an eSport? You know, I mean, okay. there's a really cool thing that um, uh, Go Rocks Go, a player once that we had, um, we've talked to before. Yeah. He, Go Rocks is, uh, he mentioned that in a, an eSport, in a game, mm -hmm. there is chance for physical mess up. You know, yeah. like you can, your finger slips off uh, an analog stick, sure. then you can make a mistake in a game. But in chess, you can't, right? Uh -huh. It's, it's, just it's a move in the oh, next There's no physical and mess up, yeah. and and that's now a whole other thing. It's just it's a it's a board game. It's not an esport, and I think that's really where we should draw the line. Okay. And I should gatekeep on Magic <laughs> being Listen, an esport. Listen, there should be a no gatekeeping in esports. It's very young, it's very fresh, it's very popping, and I feel like any anything could technically make its way in as long as it has a game base and as long as I feel like it belongs in geek, geek culture because that's kind of where the, all this stuff lies. So uh, in Magic the Gathering, obviously, yeah, physical cards, but there's an electronic version of Magic the Gathering. We play Hearthstone and Hearthstone is an eSport, okay? So I feel like this can definitely make its mark in eSports if it's handled properly. And I feel like choosing this kind of talent is the right way to go. He seems to have a really good personality. Um, I mean. I don't know, obviously you and I don't follow Magic the Gathering as much as we should. We have some producers in the office who love Magic, who spent thousands upon oh, thousands I've, of I've dollars played. on their deck. I'm trash. I've, I've okay. played. It's just fun. Magic is fun. Don't get me wrong. I do, I do love Magic. And TSM entering into it, absolutely smart move. With million dollar prize pool coming yeah. up, super smart move for TSM. For sure. No qualms there with them. Absolutely. But it's just like... It's where, what is an eSport now? What? Are traditional sports going to try to be eSports now? <laughs> They're going to move into territory. Yeah, what is uh, an eSport, No, right? because, whatever, buddy, you That's take what it, it down to. all over like Clash Royale as an eSport. You hate on Hearthstone as an eSport. You've always hated on card-based eSports. So, like, the fact that you're not into this does not surprise me at all. No, you're wrong. We're moving on. In League of Legends, G2 has assigned a Promise Q as the team's second substitute. The signing was made because of Mike Hicks, the team's support, who has struggled to deal with chronic wrist injuries since the start of the LEC split. Promise Q will sign with G2 until May 20th and will fill in for Mike Hicks when necessary. So what do you think of this and should teams be subbing in players more for their main roster to give time to rest. We've seen a lot of injuries yeah. lately in esports, a lot of wrist strain um, across, you know, especially in, I've seen it a lot in Smash Brothers too. Yep. You know, people are having issues now mm -hmm. by playing too much throughout the day and not exercising. Um, uh, should they be subbing in? Yeah, time? well, I mean, I, I feel like it's it, we can relate this again back to traditional sports. So when there's an injury with an athlete, they call another athlete and the minor is up. So all of these esports technically should have a minor system in place where they know who can do what, they know who can work with who, and they're able to pick from that team and bring someone up as they go. So unfortunately, yeah, there will be injuries. I know people don't see esport athletes as athletes. Some people don't think they are. Can I meet I, those people? <laughs> I feel like you used to be one of those people. No, no, no. Th yes, you th did. There's, there's a difference between an, an athlete and being a professional at something, right? An athlete, I do believe, needs physical thing. I don't believe esports pros are athletes. Esports pros go. are professionals at esports. Uh, it's a completely geez, different so thing. You don't believe that they're athletes? Not, no. Okay, this is my point exactly. Wait, no, not... but that's different. I still believe that they're good at what they do and they deserve the attention they get because no, they're really course. good at what they do. I'm not discrediting them, uh -huh. but I don't think they need the label of athlete to be good at what they do. Uh, no, I'm not 
Okay, fine. That is a fair point, Brody Moore. Off topic, Moore, though, but, but... I, I do agree. I think these <laughs> players do need timeout now. You look, at, especially in esports, mm -hmm. to be at the top. These guys are putting in over the average workday. These guys are putting in 12 to 16 hours a day, yeah. going to sleep, waking up, mm -hmm. doing the same thing the next day. Yeah, That's also, too much for anybody mentally and physically. For sure, and also depending on the esport itself, a lot of them aren't making enough money, so they stream as well to kind of supplement their income. Uh, it's unfortunate, but these guys are really getting burnt out. And yes, you're going to get a lot of wrist strain like I mean there are things that you can do now a lot of physiotherapy that can happen to actually prevent that but I'm like holding my wrist like I have sympathy pain right now but um, no I just feel like you definitely need to dip into a minor system there should be a minor system in place for all these esports to be able to pick and pull from who you need to fill that role when necessary and you got to give time for your players now to play MCC when okay, it's out on PC. That's enough, Brody. Right, we need to move on. <laughs> the popular Dota 2 mod, Dota Auto Chess, is continuing to grow in popularity. The mod hit the 6 million player mark on Tuesday, and now it shows no sign of slowing down anytime soon. There is even a rumor going around that Valve could turn Auto Chess into a full fledged game. So, what do you think of the mod, number one? And could Auto Chess actually become Valve's next competitive esport? Mm, well, they got to do something because the one they tried before that didn't work out. Are you shots fired? <laughs> shots fired a little bit. Uh, I don't know. I, here's the thing. Right now in <laughs> esports, it's it, just video games in general. It seems to be that every developer thinks that to make a good and deep meta in their game, they have to add champions. They have to have you know operators. It's just everything you think has every to have developer something. Thinks that? So it's like, does chess? Chess is an amazing game <laughs> by itself, right? Chess is so deep. Chess do is we, so do, deep. <laughs> Chess, it's, I'm talking right now. Chess is already deep, okay? Chess doesn't need any more depth to it. Why do we have to add champions? It's cool, fun, have fun with it, play it as, as a mod. But I'm kind of getting over esports being like, no, oh, we need champions to have a deep meta. Look at Rocket League, it's fantastic. There's no champions. Are you done? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, I wasn't even I wasn't even hating on. Okay, listen. Don't... I know. I had to get a rant out. Okay, and I probably wasn't going to use the button because I agree. <laughs> I agree too much. So. Uh, no, that's fine. Would have waste your turn, Brody Moore. Uh, no, I I actually love chess. I love chess so much, and. I don't know about this though because I feel like there's already kind of a chess scene. We just saw it in yesterday's show. There is a chess scene. Sometimes players fall asleep. Whatever that happens, but there is something already in place. So are they going to be now usurping this chess scene that's already in place with their own auto chess scene because it has heroes involved and maybe people can attach themselves to that. Maybe the Dota scene will kind of gravitate toward that and then completely obliterate this scene. So these chess players need to get on board with auto chess and uh, I don't know, become one happy family. I don't think chess grandmasters are going to be jumping over to Dota auto chess. Well, anytime soon. You can't have both. We can't have both of there's too much. Well, it's too much chess. Get rid of auto chess. Oh. But keep Dota. Speaking okay. of, the International 2018 Champions OG have dropped ILTW from their roster. He joined the team in January, but their most recent tourney, uh, OG only won one of their three group stages. Uh, oh, stage matches, sorry. OG has failed to reach the finals of any event since winning TI8 and have regularly failed to make it out of the qualifiers as well. So this team is falling apart. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, should this team be rebuilding at this point? I mean, you look at in any other eSport, yeah. if, if a team is winning, 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 winning. And all of a sudden, they're like, just done. Like, no, no good is coming out of them. What do you yeah. do? What do you do? Um, well, I'm asking you as a, as a professional esports the... team <laughs> analyst. <laughs> analyst and manager of many professional <laughs> esports teams. Uh, I honestly, okay, first of all, it's not the exact same roster that won in August. Okay? That's true. So they had already they, had some roster changes. Exactly. Had some roster changes. So there's, I mean, the red flag there. Of, of course, all, not all teams can stay together. This is how dynasties are made and kept mm -hmm. usually when the team is cohesive and stays together for the long road. Uh, we don't have that here. Um, I'm not sure what they need to do. I personally, if I were the team manager, would take them on a little group retreat. Okay. We have Where? a little spa day. Where? Uh, it doesn't matter. They can choose. We can go to Sweden somewhere. We can go somewhere we'll fun. Find out the Caribbean. Yeah, just okay. or maybe like team cruise. What else? Let's do team <laughs> building. Uh, also, obviously scrim in between, but just to like trust each other. Let's do trust falls. I do. I do. I do believe there is something with team synergy, but I feel like a lot of times that's something that you can't control. It comes down to a lot of play styles and forcing someone to play out of their play style can really mess them up. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's, I'm going to relate back to the only thing that I know, and it's Rocket League. 
And, and Rocket League, sometimes you can take two really, really, really good players, put them together, that dream team ain't gonna work because the synergy, the play style is way too different on the field and in small split decision to sec, uh, decisions, uh, yeah. you're gonna have issues, right? You're gonna yeah. have runovers, you're gonna have double commits. Same thing can happen in any other eSport, right? Yeah. If you have a, a player expecting one thing from a teammate and all of a sudden that la split decision, uh, decision second, what, I can't speak yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the only thing with Rocket League, he, like, he says Rocket League, he sees like balls flying. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Just I got Halo I on my mind. Halo now? Yeah, it's straight up. Oh my God, Kate, this MCC. took a turn. Listen, let's move on. Cause smack talking is something us gamers love to do. And in this clip, Doctor Disrespect shows us you can never start too young. Whoa. My dad has a poo poo butt. Is and that baby disrespect? disrespect. He's missed. Did she have a? He's missed a poo butt to you. Whoa! Whoa, Whoa miss! Whoa, miss! Bro, <laughs> she got, she got the crash. Hey, let go, let like go! This is, this is my, this is my show. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's mine. No, it's my show. No, no, it's mine. Get, get, get out! No, you get out here. <laughs> oh my God, dude! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's actually really cute. No, that that's actually fantastic. Yeah, um, it's super cute. I, I've always loved it when I've I've seen um, other streams too, mm -hmm. where kids will like walk in and just say something funny, or they'll have their kid, mm -hmm. you know, with them just making comments because kids will call you out. Yo, kids, uh, yeah. no filter. Yo, that's fine. That's when you call them up back. You give them a little taste of their own medicine. Yeah, you feel? Right? No, seriously, kids, I'm coming for you. But uh, no, seriously, I don't know if it's too young to start Smack Talk. I feel like with a dad like that, you're going to have it anyway. He's yeah. a Smack Talk god or Smack Talk master. My only concern now watching this has nothing to do with the Smack Talking is uh, he is in disguise, right? Mm -hmm. Like we don't actually know what Dr. Disrespect looks like. Well, we do, but like not I in character. Right, here. when he's in, yes. right, exactly. So he's in character here, and most people know him as this character, and they yeah. recognize him as this character. So I feel like because he's in character and he's protecting himself in a way, he should also protect his daughter in that same way, mm. because now he's out there. I feel like there's already kind of been hits on him. Like, obviously, he had that stream, uh, in-stream moment where somebody shot a pellet gun in his home. Like, well, he has a little daughter. I'm just, I just get concerned honestly, when I see little kids, and, and we all know what they look like, and there's just some insidious people out there, and they should be protected. We, yeah, we gotta, we gotta stop agreeing on stuff. I, yeah. I, no, straight up. It's like we saw even the other day, you know, a monitor saved a, a guy right from someone shooting up his place. So yeah. it's like you, you have to be very careful about who you're bringing it. Look at it. Look at big example here. Eminem never, ever wants people talking about his children. Yeah, right. Of course. And he keeps them away from his life mm -hmm. as much as possible mm -hmm. because he knows the repercussions if they get into the spotlight. I Same know. thing can happen with a lot of these streamers. Now you're in front of a lot of people and a lot of people that don't have the skills to know what's good and what's not. It's true. Right. They're very young and, and of course it's all in good love and fun. And that's exactly what that stream was. I'm not going to hate on that at all. I just, he, someone's got to think of the children. Think of the children. <laughs> okay, All right. move on. For now, we got to move on. I've been playing a lot of Overwatch, and I have to say this next clip mm. is definitely reminding me why I'm not as good as I think <laughs> I am. Go, 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 Zarya. Ooh! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, bitches! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Fire in the hole, motherfucker! What? <laughs> Fire in the home. <laughs> it's so good. Yo, I thought we were supposed to swear on the show. Yeah, come on, got, come on. We got Who's clips? putting these clips out here? Dropping bombs. No, it's just I'm a little just a little salty about it because obviously you know I love to swear. And yeah. like I've been told to cool it. No, that's I like being a, censored. And now this guy is not censored. I think that's uh, I think that's really cool. Uh, especially yeah. you've seen um, what Microsoft is doing with that controller. Yeah. Um, as well. uh, yeah. the, the, what's the adaptive? Controller? Yeah, the adaptive controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I remembered. Um, no, I think I think it's really cool because, again, as we all know, everyone in chat, um, mm -hmm. us, we're all gamers, and that's something yeah. that's brought us together. The yeah. more people we can get into gaming, the better overall, yeah. hands down. I'm, no. I'm, I'm so for people having the accessibility. Of oh my gosh, games. you have no idea. I that commercial literally gets me misty eyed every single time. Mm -hmm. That kind of stuff just brings me so much joy because it's true. Like, it, no matter what, we're all. We're all kind of equals when it comes to in-game, right? We take the role of this character, and it's just down to mm -hmm. our basic gaming skill. And as long as we have the tools to complete these skills, I feel like the more the merrier. So uh, that clip brings me joy for so many reasons. All I'm right. happy that we have it. Too many feel-goods right now. Yeah. We're going to move on right now. Uh, the pros say some very, uh. very eloquent things on Twitter. <laughs> and if you'd like to start us off, 
I'm down to here. <laughs> okay, yeah, we can't go too long without mentioning one of our favorite Canadians and favorite streamer, Shroud. So let's drop him into Profound Thoughts because it looks like he won't be dropping into Apex or any other BR for a while as he tweets, Boys, getting surgery on my elbow today. Might be out of commission for a bit. Pepe hands. And then Courage replied, I donate you my elbow. Hope all goes well, pal. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm, sign me up on, on the donate list. I know. Uh, because he's going to use arms way better than I ever will in a video game. It's like, I, yeah, no, I, I, that's, that's, I, we just talked about injuries too, I know. right? Like it, it happens. Um, it's just so really? crazy because you and I just discussed Shroud in the first episode that we had um, and talking yeah. about his longevity, like how is going to last? And you're like, it's not going to last because, well, it's Twitch and you just, how can you make that last? You got to constantly give to your fans mm -hmm. over and over again. You got to be streaming all the time. So I wonder what this is going to happen, what's going to happen to his stream now, if maybe he can just stream and just like sit there and I don't know chat mm -hmm. I have no idea or maybe play some Clash Royale he's got it or yeah, yeah he's not, it's not a shroud one. podcast stream well I mean I don't know he want his his boys they love him the so much they sent him flowers they sent him a card like they love him so much and they just they're used to spending every single day with him right so to mm -hmm. not have him drop drop in especially Apex I wonder if this is going to affect his game in any way like if he's going to be as Liddy I'm, I'm sure he will. When he comes, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's be amazing. yeah I'm sure he'll be fine. But speaking of people that we love, the, yeah. uh, Hearthstone Heartthrob Disguised Toast <laughs> is fire with his hot takes. Love this one coming off the recent cheating problems in Apex. He says, rampant cheating problems in Apex Legends and auto chess make me paranoid every time I lose. At least in Hearthstone, I know I lost the bullshit RNG and stream sniping since I've never been defeated fairly <laughs> due to my immense skill in the game. <laughs> Like, it's, I'm so into this guy's toast. It's, it's real though, when, yeah. when you actually realize that you've lost. And this is why <laughs> I don't play ones in Rocket League. It's because when I lose... This is a, can we get a counter off on how on many me. times Brody mentions Rocket League oh, in the okay. show? Um, but no, no, it's, it's for real. When you're playing a game, and it's like solo, and it's a game, pure skill, there's no RNG. Yeah. You lose because you lose. Yeah. And that's hard because you can't get mad at anyone. You it's can't just blame so your weird, teammates. Right? Because like you never admit when you've lost. You never admit when someone is right and you're wrong. That's you why I don't, don't put myself into situations that I can be wrong. <laughs> Welcome to Unmuted. That's why I hang out with you. Uh, <laughs> your mouth. Moving on, one more profound thought for you. And you know I gotta give more love to COD Pro. JCap can't help myself because this one really hit home. He says, he teaming with little ass kids sometimes, man. <laughs> Them is the feels. Yo, Them is the feels. Yo, you ever jump into a game of CS online? Like you just, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Brody's actually still muted, so I'm just gonna go off. Uh, we're gonna go <laughs> into a game of CS online. And these little kids, man, these little kids, oh, just the squawking, the little voices in my ear, just saying the dumbest stuff. Guys, no, I, if you're gonna talk, let's talk about strats in game. I don't wanna hear about what your friend is doing. I don't wanna hear about what you're eating. I don't wanna hear about anything that happened to you in school today. I don't care. You know what? Let's talk about the game. You know what's great? What? Fortnite. For the sole, <laughs> what? For, the, for the sole reason, for the sole reason that they've taken all those little children away from us and put them into <laughs> one game that we don't have to deal with anymore. Right? <laughs> I love that you I never thought I'd hear you say, you know what's good? Fortnite. Yeah, right? No, but you like know what's actually good? Halo! <laughs> it's time for Crowd Control, and this image absolutely sums up how all Halo fans feel right now. Okay. Take a look at this. Okay, what we see this? that MCC is announced. Okay, uh -huh. okay. Wait, it's got Halo Reach. All right. <laughs> okay. On Steam? Oh! <laughs> Kate, don't push the desk. I'm so excited. Oh MCC God. on Steam, PC with Halo Reach. It's happening. How do you know Brody picked that clip today? I, I totally didn't. It's just everyone's excited. There, I saw another one. There were so many Halo, so many, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, no, so many Halo explain things. why, explain why. There was, a, 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 you know that whole everyone disliked this? In, yes. in follow, someone scribbled it out and everyone liked this. Nobody dislikes this announcement. Okay, so just wait. Do you to dislike this just, announcement? Just to clarify, you were, you were talking about the Master Chief Collection. Yes. Okay. Some people might not know that. Okay, I'm sorry. It, I jumped in. I know. Ahead. It is very exciting. I agree. I also own the Master Chief Collection. I think it is fabulous. And you're going to get on PC? Absolutely not. What? Uh, you know I play on Xbox. But Halo Reach. Okay, moving on. Okay, I need to chill you down from Halo real quick. We got a horse in Red Dead that just wants to jump, and jump he does. 
Yo, he, he ain't done though. Are you alright, little horsey? Yeah, bro, let me add it again. Oh my god. Somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> Yo, that is a show pony. It is a show, is a show pony. I'm not gonna lie, I just, lo I just love the, the first face plant that he just crunches into the ground. <laughs> that, the good thing about having a game that has just good ragdoll is that even when it bugs out, it's still an enjoyable experience. There are some oh bugs gosh, out there so that are just ruin your experience. Yeah. But good ragdoll can make bugs just fantastic. I mean, you said that was from Reddit user Cordy DN. Mm -hmm. Cordy underscore DN. Yeah. 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 It, there are, it's it's so hard. There's Give so credit. there's some. I yeah. Sorry, but there's the credit. You gave the credit. <laughs> I'm just I just like to have a horse crunch. But anyways, I got one more thing. <laughs> okay. And I'm always looking to snipe some fools, but I constantly run into the same problem as a Reddit user feeling yeah. There's your credit mm. has. <laughs> What the? When you find an 8x scope, but you only got a pistol. I... Close range sniping. It... You don't, oh yeah, you don't, you're not like good at games, so you wouldn't understand. What? You already used your mute button. I know. That's why I yeah, said it. What? <laughs> why are you saying this to me? It's, it's true. When there's shooting involved, I'm not the greatest, but it doesn't mean I don't try bro anymore. And I don't want to discourage anybody else from trying either. Like, you think you're not good at video games? That's okay. Just jump in and give her a go. And just try to stay away from negative Nancy. No, straight up. Like Brody Moore. Straight up. to expl Anybody that doesn't play like BRs, and you're scrambling, you're like, okay, I need this, I need this, I need don't this. Don't take away the meat. I have two tablets and a button now. Uh -huh. I, I, and, and a scope for my button. What, what am I going to do with that? Okay. Um, shut up. It's time to go deal with eSports. He's going <laughs> he's gonna to get over, uh, actually, to the couch with Drew Face. Today's all about FGC, baby. So excited about that. Thank you so much for joining us here today. We'll be back tomorrow. Well, I won't. I will be in Austin for South by Southwest, but uh, someone special will be sitting right here. Hit us up on all the socials at Squad State. We'll see you next time.